Sir Charles Darwin. This amazing man proposed a theory of evolution in 1859, a very long time ago. His theory highlights the concept of natural selection. It is based on certain observations. One, most organisms produce more offspring than can survive. Two, individuals have physical variations that are inherited and heritable. That is, each offspring has unique physical features that are inherited and can be passed on to their offspring. Three, certain variations or qualities made it easy to survive, so individuals with these qualities were better off. Based on these observations, he concluded that individuals with variations that support survival are more likely to reproduce, and their offspring are more likely to survive and reproduce. This leads to a situation whereby individuals with these desirable qualities make up a larger part of the population. Let's see things from Darwin's perspective using Darwin's finches. Charles Darwin was an explorer. He went on voyages. During some of these trips, he explored the Galapagos Islands near Ecuador and noticed some birds. He observed that there were similar birds that lived on the islands and nearby Ecuador, but that these birds had features that suited the particular island they lived on. Islands with large seeds and nuts mostly had finches with large, tough beaks that allowed them to crack these seeds. Then finches that fed on insects had thin pointed beaks that allowed them to pick up these insects. He also noticed that the finches in the Galapagos Islands and Ecuador were very different from the finches in other parts of the world. This led him to believe that these birds probably started off with a common ancestor. And as they spread through the islands, only those with features that allowed them to survive, survived and became the predominant species on each island. To a large extent, we agree with Darwin on these facts. However, many years ago when he first made these observations, he had no way to explain how these features were passed from one generation to the next. Thankfully, many years after, we now know about genes, but we can thank Darwin for his role in helping us understand evolution. Bye guys. <laughs>